Well, visual first. Yeah. So I read something crazy. Yeah. And I'm actually going to get my little notes to make sure I get this right. Okay. So it said that men are aroused with visual stimuli. Hmm. And if a man is not turned on by her, it generates less testosterone. Hmm. And he needs that testosterone to be aggressive. Hmm. And that aggressive that aggression rather mm -hmm. to be able to succeed as a man mm. so eventually that is a reason that helps i mean that is a reason that deters the relationship mm -hmm. or deters his success mm. and they even said that it can cause erectile dysfunction so i had mm. that one for you because you're a doctor <laughs> so tell me how true <laughs> is something like that because we okay. do know that men are visual first yes but how important mm. is it really and mind you this mm. is not the visual that bought mm -hmm. that you know you buy these right. you buy that and you are right. fake right like, is that really something that me and desire so i i would say one of the biggest uh one of the biggest things that i think women can do uh leading up to marriage and even at, definitely after they get married is to keep themselves up physically okay so a man his initial sex drive starts with what he sees. Mm -hmm. Part two to that is the touch. Got it. Okay. If you all know that the average woman, the average woman is 170 pounds, and the average black woman is 187 pounds. Did you know that? So like the doctor was saying, Dr. Omar was saying, is if men are attracted to what they see. So if women know that men are attracted to what they see, why are they not prioritizing their health? It's a few different reasons why, but we're gonna get more into that later. And also, by the way, so Maddie, the fine woman right here, Maddie, I actually met her when I was 19 years old. Uh, she's one of the reasons why I do sales. So I found this one clip of her from her show that she had years ago. This is with Dr. Omar. So I want to go in and talk about it with our topic today. But before I finish getting into that, let's roll this clip. And her and their family. And then give me your thoughts at the end. My husband recently abandoned me and our three daughters just just three months ago, apparently because I'm fat, ugly, and boring. And while I may not be all those three things, maybe I'm two, but definitely not the three. I realized as a uh, counselor in practice and uh, now in the social work field that sometimes the people that are there to help us are going through something, are broken themselves. And there are times where I didn't realize, like maybe I went to a pastor or there are people who go to a counselor, a therapist, a spiritual helper, their parents, a teacher, and they don't realize or don't think that maybe this person is dealing with their own suffering. I don't think you ever sit in front of a therapist and think like, hmm, I wonder if they're broken. I wonder if they're going through some suffering or grief. And we forget about that. And I think now, now that, I, now that I'm in this position, I think maybe the person that I'm gonna seek out to help me could be going through the same or maybe even worse than what I'm going through. But the only way out of this, the only person that can really help me is God. Yes, social workers are amazing, teachers are amazing, therapists are amazing, and they serve a- Let me stop it right there. So she said nothing about her doing the work and faith without works is dead. Cause that's the one thing that I love about fitness. You can't pay your way to wanting a fit, healthy body. Unless you put that work in and then you get some self-control over what you're eating and what you're doing and dealing with your food addiction, you can't pray your way into fixing your health problems. So she's almost done talking. Purpose. But this. you're never going to go to God and God say, you know what? I'm too broken to help you with this. Or God's never going to have a bias in his mind because 
of past trauma or God is not going to say, you know what? And God is not going to say, I'm going to just take the weight off of you just because I'm God. So definitely, I definitely feel for her about her husband leaving her. But what you all or what people are not thinking about, though, I'm pretty certain that she wasn't looking like that when she first got with her husband. Because she's definitely, I see a lot of potential. She looks like, uh, she definitely, she's a uh, beautiful woman. She has great features, but she just lacks self-control, a sense of awareness. She's, she's blaming everybody and everything else but herself. Maybe it's because, okay, my husband tried talking to me before and I just can't stop eating in my feelings. So once again, I do not condone him leaving his family, but she said nothing about her wanting to look her best for her husband. Not about her not doing her part to make sure that she looks attractive and she's healthy for her husband, her kid. She said nothing about that. So that's part of the problem. So let me go finish playing this. So like I was showing here is yes. So a lot of times, especially in the black community, they say, well, I don't want to look bony. I don't want to look like a, I don't eat. And then I had to go and show this though. So the average African woman weighs 133 pounds. So you can't just say just because you got curves and then you're a black woman. No. So why is it that the African women weigh 133 pounds and they're around the same height, 5'4", same height. So the other races of the women, the average European woman is 156 pounds and the average Asian woman is 127. And then if you all think about it too, if you go and look at your uh, grandmas and even videos of Soul Train and women's back in the 80s, they didn't look like that now. So it comes down to not prioritizing health and not caring about what the men want. So if you don't care about what the men want in the end, how can you get what you want? So if women know that men are attracted to what they see, why are the women not putting forth the effort in keeping themselves up and working on their health? Because number one, nowadays, the average woman, she gets so much attention by her just being a woman and most guys don't have standards. So by most guys not having standards, a lot of women can get all this attention from men period without even having to put forth the effort because most guys don't have standards. So you see a lot of women that just like the, the, the lady in the, uh, in the clip talking about her husband, she's uh, an attractive woman, but she just let herself go and she's not willing to put in the work. She's not willing to work on herself. She just wants to blame everybody else but herself. And that's what happens. So she doesn't care enough about her husband to go and want to look her best and be her best and, and to get control over her food addiction. She lacks any kind of self-awareness. And I didn't play the part with Derek Jackson because he didn't say anything about that. So that wasn't important. So as the doctor was saying, let me finish playing this. And yes, I believe again, this is, this is not something that has been confirmed as far as the testosterone levels, but I do know I've had a, a number of patients, uh, male patients uh, come to my clinic. Everybody wants Viagra Cialis, first of all, <laughs> everybody. Okay. No matter uh, they are. Yeah, yeah, I've, wow. heard, I've had 25 year olds want Cialis. But even with that, a lot of these men come to my office wanting some type of male enhancement medication because they don't find their wives attractive. Wow, okay. And they're wanting not to cheat. Mm. And they're saying- You hear that, y'all? So yeah, and then a lot of guys don't want to cheat. So ladies, if you're actually wanting to look good for your man, I ain't saying he ain't gonna cheat, but just, it will help. It will help the man fight that temptation. If you actually wanted to look your best, that would help out a whole lot. So the doctor, he's going to finish talking about how a lot of times the guys love their wife so much that they don't want to cheat. So they have to take some type of medication to force their body to be aroused by something that he doesn't find sexually pleasing anymore. So that's love right there. You know, so, man. 
thing. I need something so that I don't start straying. Wow. And for a lot of these men, I have compassion. <laughs> yeah. and, and I usually will write for them, even though it's not a documented clinical erectile dysfunction, mm -hmm. they are having marital problems. Mm. And they need something so that they can get aroused, so that they can get an erection, so that they don't start dipping. Wow. Yeah. That is really something. Mm -hmm. So out of the love, they're trying not to cheat. Yeah. And go in and get medication because yeah. they're not visually stimulated any longer. Yeah. Wow. And the reason I know that this is not an actual erectile dysfunction, a true erectile dysfunction, is because many of these men say when they're out and they see other women, they get hard on quick. Mm. When they mm. go to their wives, nothing. nothing. Mm. Wow. And that's something. So, so that's the proof right there. So, so he loves his wife but she doesn't love him enough for her to want to take care of herself to be sexually attracted to him so that's a touchy one that people don't talk about but on my show i'm gonna talk about it because this channel is about the truth so the women can get the kind of outcome that they want so ladies once again ask yourself this ladies okay it's good that you're working your job and you say you're so busy but you won't put forth the effort to look your best so that your man will be sexually aroused by you. And also the other thing is uh, uh, a lot of times with the guys, most guys have no standards. So ladies, most guys will sleep with anyone. Or than two ladies, I don't want you all to be just having guys who just deal with you just to have sex with you. And, and, and then they're not committing to you. Do you really want to be that kind of chick that guys are just calling late at night right before they just you know, do something else. They're just giving you a call. Do you really want to live like that? Why not prioritize your health and be the best version of yourself? Why not look good for your man? Why not do it for yourself so you can feel better about yourself? Prioritize your health. And that's what I do in my business is I help the women take control over the eating habits. I hold them accountable to the highest degree to force their habits to change because men want women to look good women know that men care about the looks so much but it's not enough for for most women to prioritize their health you you are a lot of times prioritized to making money you prioritize many things that men don't care about and you're wondering why you can't get that man to to commit to you you're wondering why that man doesn't want to be with you like that because yeah because and also too just think about it like this though Let's say, let's just say as if you're 187 pounds or 200 pounds and then the guy met you. And let's say as if you're in your 20s or 30s and then you don't have any kids or, you, or, or uh, he wants to have kids or you want to have more kids. So if you're 200 pounds already before being pregnant, imagine how much bigger you're going to be after you're pregnant. And then, and then that's, that's one thing that a lot of guys think about, though, that they just don't tell you. So say, okay, if she's big right now and she don't have control of her emotions and she's a bench eater, she's going to get way more bigger when I get her pregnant. So, so, so instead of him taking you seriously, which a lot of guys, I mean, enough guys will still have sex with you, but the kind of guy that you want, he doesn't want to commit to you. He's not taking you seriously. So, all right, child, so I want to have the touchy talk with you all, but yes, but you still have a shot. So if you all finally, finally are willing to make a change and look good for your man and even do it for yourself, you can go and fill out my application and we'll see if my program is a good fit for you. Because ladies, I want to see you all live your best life. I'm tired of seeing beautiful black women waste, waste their youth being overweight with health problems. I want you to be your best version of yourself. Look at this lady, Maddie. Oh my gosh, Maddie is looking good in that dress. Ladies, I want you all to have men to just give you a certain amount of respect by them knowing that you prioritize your health and you can stay under some kind of discipline when it comes down to you being 
of consistent and sticking to a routine long term. And that's one of the other ways that men look at, okay, can this woman stick to a routine? Is she able to be consistent long term? Do I have to worry about her getting comfortable and her just falling off and her looking like that wife that I showed earlier? That she was complaining about. Uh, she was talking about how her husband left her. So, all right, y'all. So, I want you all to like, share, and subscribe to my channel. So, this one was kind of was a touchy subject, but you all, I worked it, so I wanted to go and tell you to shoot and to address some things that most people aren't discussing because I want to see you win. I want to see you have the type of outcome that you want. And, ladies, I want to see you get the kind of man that you want to take you seriously. So, I right, y'all. So, I'm out. And remember, God wants you healthy and fit. And the devil wants you to procrastinate and put it off and make excuses. And don't let the devil win. And I'll see you all next time.